In this video, you'll learn how to troubleshoot or debug an Arduino circuit when it's not working as expected. Here, I have a circuit built with an LED connected to my Arduino, and I'm running code that should be making the LED blink on and off. But as you can see, the LED isn't lighting up at all. It can be frustrating when your circuit doesn't work because it might look like nothing is broken. But don't worry, even experts make mistakes, and in this video, I'll walk you through some systematic steps that you can take to identify the problem and fix your circuit. First, this one might seem obvious, but make sure your Arduino has power. If it isn't plugged in, your circuit won't have power and nothing will work, even if everything else is built correctly. Next, check for open circuits on your breadboard. Remember how breadboard holes are connected. Sets of five holes in each row are electrically connected to each other, but adjacent rows are not connected. So in order for two parts in the circuit to be connected to each other, they need to be inserted in the same row. You can see here that my black wire is not in the same row as this leg of the LED. Since this row is not connected to this row, I have an open circuit here. There's no closed path for current to flow from the LED to the black wire. To close that circuit, I need to move my black wire down so it's in the same row as the leg of the LED. However, you can see I haven't fixed all the problems yet because my LED still isn't lighting up. Next, make sure you're connected to the correct Arduino pins. Remember, in the program I showed earlier, I was toggling pin 12 on and off. However, I have this jumper wire connected to pin 11. I'm going to move that over to pin 12 to make sure that the pins I am actually connected to in my circuit correspond to the pins that I'm using in my program. So I've fixed all the mistakes that I found so far, but my LED still isn't lighting up. Another thing to check is whether certain components are in your circuit backwards. For some parts, like resistors, this doesn't matter. You can flip them around and they'll work the same way. Other parts, like LEDs, have polarity, meaning they have a positive side and a negative side. The long leg of the LED is positive, and the short leg of the LED is negative. If the LED is backwards, it won't let electrical current flow through it, and it will never light up. So one simple thing to check when working with LEDs is just to take it out of the breadboard and flip it around to see if you had it in the breadboard backwards. We can see that that was my final mistake. The LED is now in the breadboard the correct way, and it is blinking as I would expect based on the program. Now, sometimes it is possible for electronic components to break even if there are no obvious signs of physical damage. For example, I intentionally burned out this LED by connecting it directly to a battery with no resistor. Normally, the resistor helps limit the flow of current through the LED to safe levels. However, you could never tell just by looking at the LED, so it might be confusing when you have the LED in your circuit, you're trying to debug, you think you've fixed all the mistakes, but the LED simply isn't lighting up. So, if you've run out of other options, one of the easiest things to do is simply swap in another part. You usually have more than one LED on hand, so you can just grab another one, swap it in, and see if everything works. If everything works the same way, then you can discard this LED because it's probably broken. It is also possible, although a little less likely, to damage individual input and output pins on the Arduino. So, if everything else seems okay, but your LED is still not turning on and off, try switching your jumper wire to a different pin and then editing your code to use that pin. Upload the new code and see if that fixes your problem. If so, you might have a dead pin on your Arduino, but that's okay because you can still use the other pins. Remember that it's always a good idea to keep your Arduino unplugged while you're building your circuit. If at any point you see or smell smoke or your circuit feels hot, you probably have a short circuit somewhere and you should immediately disconnect power to your circuit and double check your wiring. It's especially important when using the breadboard power buses to make sure you don't accidentally connect the power bus directly to the ground bus. That will create a short circuit between 5 volts and ground on the Arduino, causing a large amount of current to flow and possibly damaging your circuit or the Arduino. If your circuit seems to work sometimes but not all of the time, then keep an eye out for loose connections. If you have a wire, resistor, or LED that's not firmly pressed all the way into the breadboard, this will result in an intermittent electrical connection, so your circuit might work inconsistently. Make sure everything is pressed firmly all the way into the breadboard. 
Now, while this is not an exhaustive list of things that could go wrong with a circuit, it should give you a good checklist to go through when you're getting started with an Arduino and simple circuits like LEDs. You can also have things wrong with your code, but debugging code is a topic for a different video. For more Arduino tutorials and lots of cool projects you can do with an Arduino, check out the links in the video description. For thousands of other fun, hands-on science and engineering projects, visit us online at www.sciencebuddies.org.